Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna talk about spider mites once again. I asked you a few videos ago to give me some ideas that can replace hairspray because it's expensive and many of you suggested me many good stuff. So today I would like to show you what I've tried so far. So I've tried sugar water which creates a film on the leaf so practically it should suffocate the uh, spider mites and also I have tried oil. Even though oil does not solidify, it still creates a sort of a smothering substance. So let's see what I did. So to create the sugar water, I used sugar and a cup and a measuring device. I used 150 millimeters of water, it's warm water, and I also used 150 grams of sugar. Tried to go for half and half. So I've mixed them all in this cup. I didn't make a big quantity. And I have to tell you that if it's not warm to hot water this will not mix so stir very well until the liquid becomes clear and kind of gloopy as you can see if you're interested to know how much liquid i got it's 250 milliliters so then i submerged the orchid inside to get everything wet i bent it a little bit but i can assure you it's not broken so everything is soaked in sugar water so i left it to dry i've also kept it in water now, three days later, let's take a look at the orchid. As you can see, two of the leaves have yellowed. I cannot really tell you if this is because of the sugar. I have a Phalaenopsis which stays like this with hairspray for the last three days and she's absolutely fine. So I am not sure if it's suffocation or simply the fact that the leaves were very attacked and they had to go. Now, if you look on the leaf, you can see that the sugar actually is cracking. This is because it's not as flexible as hairspray. If you bend it a little bit, it's gonna crack and it's gonna permit spider mites to breathe. So try to keep it still. Alrighty, now let's rinse this orchid. As you can see, I'm not using any detergent and the leaves fell. Alrighty, so I'm just using my fingers and lukewarm water. That's pretty much all I use. No detergent, no brush, no nothing. And I have to tell you, the sugar came right off. It didn't leave any residue behind. The orchid is not sticky, so the whole process was actually very easy. Okay, let's let it dry and look under the microscope later. Now, I've also used oil as I told you, but for some reason I didn't film it. How I applied the oil, which is cooking oil, is actually sunflower oil, I used a brush. I didn't dip the orchid, so I just brushed the leaves and the stems and all of that. I tried to be careful not to touch the roots, but some oil did end up on the roots. Now, the orchid is very oily, it did not solidify, and I have to tell you this is one day after I applied it because, and I'm not sure if I can properly show you, the leaves actually soaked in oil, the leaf absorbed oil and there are darker patches on the leaves which I don't like. I got the same effect when I tried to submerge my orchids for 10 hours in order to suffocate the mites. The leaves will absorb liquid. I don't like that in the case of oil. So now it's time to rinse this orchid. I used fairy uh, solution for dishwashing and let's go in with the brush because I have to tell you guys oil is so hard to remove it if you just use water it's not gonna come off if you just use your fingers again it's not gonna come off so I need to use this brush and a lot of fairy and go on every single leaf and on the stems and all of that and this actually took me a while and I got a little frustrated but yeah so now let's rinse the orchid I'm gonna rinse my brush as well and I have to tell you the brush is a little oily so let's rinse the orchid and see what we are left with so after everything is said and done, let's take a look on the leaves and hopefully you can see here there are um, tiny droplets of water on the leaf. The water does not flow so this means there is still oil residue on the leaf. Also the leaf is quite glossy. So I went in again, did the same procedure, didn't end up anywhere so it's still the same. I still have oil residue. Let's take a look under the microscope. So this is the sugar version. So on the top of the leaf, as you can see, there are no spider mites and there are no eggs. So what we're looking for are uh, dots that are bright red. And on the leaf, the top part, I don't see any bright red spots whatsoever. The dark spots that you see, they are the damage caused by the spider mite, small infections within the leaf. Um, they're not actual spider mites, so there's no spider mite or egg that I can see. Now on the back, this orchid has a weird pigmentation. So whatever you see, it's not really spider mite egg, it's just the pigmentation. But because it looks very similar to spider mite eggs, I'm not sure which are eggs and which are the actual pigmentation. 
but if there are eggs there, they're not bright red, really. We're looking for very bright red stuff, so this thing is brown, which is nice. And here is the leaf treated with oil. That's a little spider mine right there, but he looks dead. So as you can see, because I did not form a crust, there might still be some spider mites on the leaf. But I assume they're dead. I mean, that was oil. And in this particular shot, you can see the darker patches. This is where the leaf actually absorbed the oil. And in the case that a leaf absorbs water, that's fine, but I'm not sure about oil. So I really don't like that. And this is after one day, not three days, like in the case of the sugar water. So as you can see here, we have that weird uh, spotting, that coloration that this orchid naturally has. We also see the damage, but there can also be some spider mite eggs, which I presume are dead, hopefully. So this is the top part. Let's take another look, no spider mites. And this is again, the bottom part, which I don't know what to tell you if they're eggs or not. I presume there are some eggs still, but they're not bright red, which is fine. Although I did see more red spots on this particular one than on the one that I used sugar water. So alrighty, this was the experiment for today. I'll keep you updated with how things go. I have to tell you as a final conclusion, sugar water, well, might actually feed on sugars, but in my mind, an excessive amount of sugar is not good because it creates that film that suffocates them. So I think they cannot eat their way through that film, really. But it has the disadvantage that actually mites feed on nitrogen and sugars. But did you ever see an accumulation of mites on the sap of orchids? You know, those happy sap, whatever, happy do? No, so I don't think they like that much sugar, actually. So that's the downside of sugar. Other than that, I liked how it went. It's a little bit hard to prepare the sugar water, but that's that. The oil, on the other hand, I could not keep the orchid with the oil on it for more than 24 hours because I did see those patches and I presume that because the oil did not solidify, the leaf absorbed the oil and I'm not happy with that. So it remains to be seen how the orchids fare on the long run, if they're gonna die or not. Okay, the next thing we're gonna try is another tip from another viewer and that implies Elmer's glue or actually the equivalent on my side of the world. We have that thing as well, but we're gonna make another video uh, out of that pretty soon. So already, thank you guys for watching this video. As a disclaimer, I'm doing all of these things for those people who don't like to use toxic means or would not like to have predatory uh, mites or ladybugs in their houses. I will try those things as well, biological methods, but when I will get into my greenhouse. Right now, it's just experimenting and keeping the numbers of mites low. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from me and stay up to date, you can subscribe to my channel for regular orchid videos. You can also leave me questions, suggestions, or everything you'd like in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can watch a tutorial about how to care for orchids. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye.